Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Ground Level Zero here. And uh, today, I'm going to be uploading my third Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, but also my first game of Kill Confirmed. And uh, by now, I'm pretty sure most of you know what uh, Kill Confirmed is, but if not, um, I'll give it to you in a nutshell. Pretty much what it is, is uh, it's like Team Deathmatch, to where you have to get kills, but they added a twist to where w once you get the kill, the enemy drops dog tags, which then you have to go pick up, and those will be added to your um, points, and then whoever has the most amount of points, which uh, the game usually ends at 65 points, so whatever team that can collect 65 dog tags and the given amount of time uh, wins. So pretty simple, just like TDM, except instead of getting kills for points, you get the dog tags for points. And uh, but another thing also is uh, if you get killed by an enemy and uh, or one of your teammates and you go pick up their dog tags and uh, the enemies, I mean the people you kill are going to be yellow and yours are going to be red and if you pick up red ones it denies their kill. So instead of them getting a point for picking up the dog tags, you can prevent them by picking them up before they do. So it's pretty interesting and it's uh, definitely a really fun game type to play. Uh, I would recommend playing it in a party because... Um, it's a lot easier when you coordinate, like saying, I don't know, I got killed over by uh, B Dom, and uh, I need some help, or I drop my flat, I drop my tags, um, come pick them up, or something like that. Uh, which I was in this game. I was playing in a party, and uh, I think he went on like a 20-game win streak, which was really amazing, and uh, it's really fun because I mean, it's a good time playing. It's not too stressful, um, at least in my opinion, um, and it's just a good time, and. Um, yeah, as so you see here, I ha I'm using the um, shove machine gun, the MP5, but um, I started out with the assault rifle, and uh, quick tip, if you really want to do well in this game type, I probably would not recommend using the assault rifle, unless it's like a huge map you're playing on, because majority of the time, you're going to be running through the um, map in most likely the middle of it, or staying on the outside, but even if you do that, you're still going to be trying to run, get up close to the enemy, because you know if you get the kill too far away, you're not going to be able to get the dog tags, and I'm also assuming that you want to win the game, so you're not just going to get kills and then expecting your team to pick them up, you're also trying to pick them up as well, so um, you're definitely going to want to use a submachine gun, uh, I'd probably recommend the uh, PP90 M1, mainly because that gun's probably one of the only OP guns in the game. Um, I think I mentioned in my other video that pretty much all guns are balanced, which is true, don't get me wrong, this um, gun setup, <laughs> I do not know what happened there, but yeah, the uh, gun setup is pretty much balanced, but I think just like the FAMAS in uh, Black Ops, the PP90M1 is going to be the one gun that stands out um, just a bit above the rest, and um, I don't think Infinity War will um, nerf it, because it's really not that overpowered, but not only did Treyarch have a reason to, but they also give better community support, so it made sense that they did that. But uh, overall, I mean, I wouldn't be angry if uh, Infinity Ward didn't nerf it, but then again, if they did nerf it, I don't really know if they should, because if they did, they might make it too underpowered, and then it will become a bad gun. But that was kind of a rant on the PP90M1. But yeah, I pretty much just recommend using a um, submachine gun during uh, Kill Confirmed. Also, yeah. Also, like I said, um, I would recommend uh, using a uh, party, but also within that party, uh, you guys should probably run certain strike packages to uh, help win the game. For example, in this game, I was using the assault package, which um, gets me a whole bunch of kills. I think I was running the UAV, the Predator missile, and um, I don't remember my third kill streak, but uh, I'm pretty sure I don't get it in this game, so it doesn't really matter anyways. But pretty much what this does, if um, certain players run certain packages, you can play... Uh, assigned roles. For example, my role in this game was to be um, a little more set back and um, picking off enemies, but uh, I kind of went out of my role and did pick up quite a few dog tags, but um, I still overall played my role. And then the players who you were using, were using the support packages could run around, get kills, and pick up dog tags because their kill streak carried on into their next life. So they didn't have to worry about not getting their kill streaks, unlike me, because when I died, my streak ended. Um, so that's a ver pretty good, um, helpful tip if you guys are playing to play in a party. Uh, just make sure a couple of you are running support packages, some of you are using um, Assault and then Specialist if you want to. But uh, that was my tips for uh, Kill Confirmed, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'd appreciate um, a like, a comment, and maybe a subscription. So definitely stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 3 gameplays, and um, until next time guys, I'll see you later.